I think in my life there are two things, major themes in my life. One is my father keep kind of training me intentionally or unintentionally in his own terms, because he's really, really serious about how to rear my younger brother and me in in the faith. He said he he see he saw that his top priority. And the second theme is my my mom's side. And my mom's side has been very excellent in academic achievement. And uh, her her father was a Harvard graduate. Her mom was a Columbia uh, graduate in the 1930s. Mm-hmm. So her family has these extremely good academic achievements. So she pushed on my side on the academic achievement. Mm-hmm. And that also that helped me survive the hardship years in China because people really appreciate uh, top uh, yeah. academic achievement. Yeah. My father is more on the faith side. So those two themes really interwave in my middle school, high school, and college. And uh, I still remember my father. Two things, train, uh, kind of training in my faith. One is uh, to give the Lord the thanks uh, to bless the food before you eat, uh, not only in, in your house, uh, even during the school time, lunch time, right? That's a challenge to... To me, it's yeah. you can consider in the atheist communist country, you 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 pray before you eat. Mm. That's something very scary to some extent. Yeah. But however, I managed to do that. But I I I, will, I couldn't loudly pray. <laughs> but every time when we had lunch together with friends, with you know in school, I just have a moment of pause, pause yeah. pausing, mm-hmm. gave grace. Or sometimes close my eyes without telling people what I did. I think that is something I can, I could do the best. And the second thing is, in those years, they have people's profiles. Everyone has a profile. The party or the state keeps that. And the one of the thing you have to disclose is your faith. They call that political uh, profile, political contour. What, what do you believe? And uh, you have an option saying, I don't believe anything. Mm-hmm. Or you can say, Christianity, Christian is a category. You can put it there. They give you the option. Yeah, they give okay. you the option. You can put Christianity or nothing. For my father, no doubt you should put Christianity, Christian, because that's who you are. And the Lord says, if you don't recognize him before people, mm-hmm. he will not recognize you. That's who you are. So my father always insists that's something you need to, but you make the choice by yourself. That's my opinion. Mm-hmm. Clearly tell you, and uh, my grandfather said, she's more linear and understanding. Mm-hmm. You can leave that blank or not doing some, something. So it's always a challenge. Even for college application in those years, that's one of the things people will consider whether enroll you or not enroll you. So my father always say, put it there. I think 80% of the time I follow my father, and sometimes I follow my grandmother, mm-hmm. but that's always a testing point of your faith. And so those two things interweave in my uh, high school, middle, yeah, college years. I've been academically doing very well, uh, top student, top three, top five, throughout the whole years until college graduate. 